fucking some beards. I mean, I, I, I like to think that I can grow a, a half decent beard, but I, I need to trim like the, the backside because like it's just getting all this uh, you know, neck beardish part. But if I trim too much of that, then I just get like this whole tuft. And sometimes I feel like that's just too much. I think I might have hit the uh, the battle music a little too hard. Sounded like a Minecraft zombie over there. Do we need a um a token for our ship? I uh, yeah. I I was actually trying to work that out. I, I think what I'm gonna have to do is like overlay it with the background and then upload that as a single file. But. Mm. I do have this, and let me just, uh... You know what we need? A Zatch <sighs> Bell to make. Dude, I fucking love Zatch Bell. Dude, you need a Zatch Bell, a Zatch Bell game would go kind of hard. I like the idea. <laughs> oh, I'm saying, like, remaking the whole anime. Kind of like how they did with Rurouni Kenshin. Yeah, oh. I could see that. I think it would be fun. Like a, like a, a remake or whatever. Yeah. It was a goaded anime. Let's set that back to one. Interesting. So yeah, that's like two thousand. Release two thousand one. Wow, this game is a pre nine eleven game. <laughs> that that's a mouthful right there. <laughs> it's just. Loaded with implications. Oh, and it released post 9 11 in Europe. Oh, did is it? Is the. Uh, is it just kind of like an empty grid for everyone else? Uh, I see, uh, it's empty, uh, but I see the ship. I don't uh, see Yeah, the ship. I, I was trying to uh, set that proper and. I, I don't know what the deal is with that. It, it's always weird. It happens. Uh, oh, there it is. I see it now. Any, anyway, uh, my inability to prep the ship aside, hello everybody and welcome back to Dungeons and Devil Fruits. Uh, One Piece D and D, the uh, the campaign where we are buried under snow and aren't beating the nine eleven allegations. I am your what? host, <laughs> I am your DM Orion, and, and with me as always is our captain Akisu Blackburn, Micah. What up? We got the ship doctor Scrim Bimbus Snyder. Hi. We have the uh, lethal, like, holy shit, I, I can't fathom why, why you're just dropping so many bodies. <laughs> Our shipwright, uh, Chibiusa, played by Siana. In blood bloodlust. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I, I'm fairly certain she's got the highest body count this campaign. <laughs> murder bunny. Don't fuck around. <laughs> oh, the murder bunny. bunny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you know, murder bunny is really becoming a trope, and it, it's 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 strange that it's a trope. <clears throat> but Who I'll, I'll take people it. Like so many murders, <laughs> <laughs> moiders, and <laughs> finally <laughs> the uh, the the chef <laughs> and uh, resident bad boy of the crew because he's just like uh, issuing ultimatums left and right. Uh, Tonga, played by Sam. Hey, what up? All right, guys. <laughs> I, I, for those of uh, for those who uh, tuned in last week and uh, wondered well, why, why did this just abruptly end right where things were getting good at the end? Uh, we we lost a little bit of footage. No big deal. Like the last ten minutes. I brought my A game, uh, real, like, uh, I, I was Matt Mercer for all of 10 minutes that you guys didn't see off screen, uh, but, uh, <laughs> essentially, the, the party had been 
knocked all over the place by the blizzard. Things got rough. The storm got super heavy. And one thing led to another. They had to weigh acre, uh, take care of the sails, uh, do, do the whole ship thing. And I'm sure someone will correct me later about whether or not weighing acre when you're in the middle of a storm is good or bad. But you know what? Uh, they're not the DM. So. Stop your ship from being pushed all over the place. Makes sense. I can, I can hear my child just to go and <laughs> uh, kids anyway you all awake uh, the uh, following morning the the storm has settled into just a, a very steady just steady snow like big fat snowflakes left and right the, the waves have eased up, and uh, so have the winds, uh, due to the uh, sudden uh, change in temperature. And as a result, it, it is just very much a, a Christmas morning outside. The The snow is coming down all over the place. I'm going to shut that door, but uh, what do you guys do? I'm going to pray to Santa. <laughs> So, uh, ah, yes, Santa D. Claus. <laughs> well, okay. So, as, as we all wake up, and I come out to the deck, um, as I do, I'm going to begin my morning, like, fishing and cooking routine. Um, all right. And I, can I just kind of, like, give a look-see around the area. You said the water is, like, clear do we see any like or do i see any like ships in, in range yeah. or anything uh, give me a perception check before i dive into the water here <laughs> before you get sniped by somebody out in the ocean i mean <laughs> all right <laughs> you you come up to the edge of the ship uh you dive in with just exquisite fishman form <laughs> it, it, the, the water's cold but that's nothing to you it, you know these north blue waters and as you kind of settle into a good spot you look around and you notice that it's strange you don't see much fish nor really much of anything it just seems a little quiet Makes sense. We're gonna die. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh good God! Knowing uh, when there's always like if you're in a forest and it goes completely silent, there's that like air of danger. I feel. There's a predator in the area. Yeah. Right. So me with that like assumption, I'm gonna come back you know maybe like 20 minutes or so of searching i'm just gonna kind of like i don't know i feel like i'd be like on guard you know like yeah. something like anticipating you know yeah this is a very unusual morning for tonga because like he's very used to having at least something to show for a fishing trip i think i would be like a little a little like I know like the repercussions that this is having on like the ocean. So I'm like, oh, that's unfortunate. Like I feel bad for like <laughs> the sea life type shit. Mm. But I do believe with the reserves, I'm still able to make uh, my stuff. All right. And as you enter the kitchen, you do see uh, the uh, two, the, the spicy brothers, uh, Talum and Callum. As well as, uh, I believe it's Talem's wife. Uh, just kind of, uh, she's just kind of sitting to the side uh, talking to Tilda. And uh, Rory just kind of uh, marches into the uh, kitchen, just all like uh, sleepy eyed, r rubbing his eyes, like, oh, Donga, uh, do you need any help with uh, cooking this morning? Mm. Yeah, we can, uh, 
go ahead and make these treats for the day. Get a good breakfast going. All right. Try to uh, see what we can make the best of. Wait, is there still a blizzard? The it's, blizzard is over. It's kind uh, of. Calm. It's less of an intense okay. blizzard, and now it's just a just a steady stream of snow from just like you know when like you uh, when it's like a dead of winter, and it's just kind of like a yeah quiet, yeah. but like it, it's dense snowfall. Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess I will just uh, do my food preparation. Uh, take an hour. All right. To make some treats. Uh, future game bonus action. How many can I make? Equal to my proficiency bonus. I think I can make four. Excellent. Right, oh, and uh, as you're make... doing that, like a uh, Caleb and Talum just kind of like a. They're interested in how you're cooking, because uh, being uh, the proprietors of a spicy food stand, they they know a thing or two. Yeah, can I? I was. Can I like work with them to make it so that like the the treats that I can make for everyone uh, can also have a little bit bonus for like the heat protection. You know what? Uh, I have seen studies where, like, uh, spicy food does help when you're cold. So, yeah. I'll allow it. It increases okay. your metabolism, so it makes your body spend more. Yeah. Food. Like, okay, so, um, I can make spicy. five treats. I'll give one to each of us. And I'll give one, the last one to... Maybe the Tilda. All right. So, uh, when anyone uses the anyone using the treats will basically they will receive a, a four hours of cold resistance and uh, temporary hit points equal to my proficiency. Do so we have to write that on our sheet? Plus my charisma. Uh, so when you eat them, you'll gain five temporary hit points and uh, the cold resistance. Okay. All right. So five temp HP for Hilda. Oh, damn, I, I never reset her HP. <laughs> She's dead! No! <laughs> she died in the night. <laughs> it's because I hit the wrong thing uh, when I was setting her HP. Because, like, temp HP is below that. <laughs> there. That'll help. <clears throat> Max temp HP. There we go. You have more? Yeah. What am I doing? I don't even know. Well, what, oh, what, what is Akisu doing? Like, I think we just <laughs> yeah, I'll kind of like sleeper. <laughs> I would, um, I'll kind of get everything ready and then. She's like, uh, I would, so, yeah, who else do I see on the deck? Because like, I'll just kind of like pass them out as I see. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably just still asleep, honestly. Yeah. As you are kind of passing uh, some of the people on deck, uh, you do notice that uh, the uh, shipwrights who had uh, joined uh, your okay. ship for passage off the island are just hard at work. You hear uh, your typical hammering and uh, uh, shouting to each other as they just kind of... They're just chugging along and getting stuff done. Nice. As, as they're doing that, I'm gonna swing open like the door and be like, "Shut the hell up! I'm not asleep." <laughs> <laughs> and you just kind of like uh, see one of the the men that was particularly close to the door, like <laughs> he was just like doing up a little bit of uh, trim. He's like, "Ah!" <laughs> <laughs> oh <It's back>. God! <laughs> <laughs> big ass woman walks on out. That's a big lady. <laughs> it in enters uh, Akisu. Um, I'm awake now. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I imagine I'd be like walking down the lower decks. Uh, as we see <laughs> this happen, <laughs> I'm just like, ah, glad you're awake. I'm gonna toss the, the treat to you. It's gonna be um, a picture, of kind of like a 
maybe like a bagel, but it's like a one of those like ration blocks, you know? <laughs> yeah. A big old spicy bagel. I, I had taken it to naming it Tonga's titular spicy spheres. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What if they're kind of like those, uh, like the bow buns, you know? I like Ooh, those. I, I do like that. Yeah, you just kind of like see, uh, uh, Talum uh, writing down uh, the recipe after his little collab with you. Yeah, it's kind of like a picturing it kind of like a fish cake. Amazing. Yeah, you're just Tonga, you know just how to recipes. cheer me up. <laughs> hey, a good meal cheers everyone up. Ooh. Got a long day ahead of us. As you guys look out onto the sea, you do. It, it's just like you can see much further than you did before. Like maybe uh, like half a mile to a mile out, and after that, it's just pure white and gray. Yeah. I imagine I'm worried about my plants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, oh, what yeah. plants did you say that you had? Because, like, uh, my... Growing carrots. Ah. Oh, my God. What about all the pets that we stole? <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> they are I below mind. deck. <laughs> all right. Yeah. We'll have to have a are we able to move your carrots? Yeah. Do you yeah, want some like, help? I feel like I'm like frantically like, I don't have You're I'm like running back and forth, moving the box. <laughs> like. I'll yeah. see her doing that and I'll help her out. You just take them all in one hand because you're so big. <laughs> yeah. And she's just hurriedly having the shipwrights finish the uh, sunroom for the carrots. <laughs> <laughs> nice. A little greenhouse at the keel. <laughs> just, <sighs> this has to be done. <laughs> all right so is anyone keeping uh, kind of like watch out for the day or uh, anything of that nature i can once i'm done helping her move the carriage i do think um i think i might send out my familiar to do a little bit of scouting around. um all right yeah, I, okay, so as I as I go back to the top and I'm looking around and I notice that visibility is especially thick, um, I will pull out my mm. clutch guitar and I'm going to kind of like let it melt through my hands into the shape of a small little metallic dragon. All right. And I'm just going to be like, give us a look see. I'm going to send them out. And you send it out and it, it flies around. It It goes about as far as it can while still maintaining visibility of the ship. And it it goes further and further, and as you peer through its eyes remotely, you're just overtaken by the sheer vastness of the area you're in, and take note of how calm the the ocean has uh, kind of come to uh, with all the snowfall, like height. You know, flying and everything. Can I? Do I see the island? <laughs> like... uh, the island. Actually, give me a perception check. Okay. With that vent? No. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it's best advantage. Well, I mean, you got the flying. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was right. almost a one. 13. Okay, so after sending it out and scouting uh, parts of the horizon uh, for you guys, uh, you are, from what you can tell, nowhere near the uh, island that you had guys started with around oh. Swallowtail. But it, your familiar does notice an outcropping of very, some jagged rocks and the semblance of what seems to be an island. So I, I also imagine, like, anyone who looks at me while I'm looking through the eyes of my familiar, it's like my eyes just go, like, white. <laughs> and I look, like, dissociated, almost. Yeah, it's just, and I'm just kind of, like, have, like, a blank stare. And I'm just, you just see my face, like, crunkle up in, like, frustration. And then, like, 
I'm just kind of like, ugh. And I disconnected. My eyes go normal. Yeah. And you just kind of see uh, Gordy standing next to Rory. And he's like, boy, is, is he all right? What? <laughs> it doesn't seem natural. You're going to see I a forgot lot what the voice I did for Gordy for was. <laughs> I kind of like snap out of it and I look down at them. We're quite a ways off. I think I see what looks to be an outcropping or hopefully the island. Semi close. You see any ships? No ships. We're dead in the water here, pretty much. Hmm. You think it'd be safe to uh, lower the sails? Yeah, I think so. We can probably get a get a new one if we want to. Maybe head towards whatever this outcropping or hopefully our island is. Yeah. Uh, how how far would do you think uh, I'd be able to like surmise? I, let's see. Uh, you you can tell that the outcropping is like a few miles, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, a few miles north. Okay. Yeah, I'll kind of like uh, I'll go find Chibi. I guess she's close by, and we'll be like we're gonna start heading north. There's a what looks to be a bit of an outcropping. Sounds good. Mm. And I'll give the uh, order to uh, Rory and the other people to uh, lower the sails. Yeah, the, the crew gets uh, right to work uh, lowering the sails. Uh, Gordy especially seems gung ho to get the sails lowered, and like, he's like, "Get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> he, he's double timing it compared to the uh, other men who are just like just taking a, a moment away from their uh, carpentry to just be like, "Okay, get the ship going," and they're, they're all handling it with just like the the casual ease of budgeting their strength for a long day. When uh, when Gordy is kind of like done for the most part, I want to approach him and talk. Ah, uh, hey Tonga, uh, do you, that island? Uh, how how far away did you say it was? Uh, a few miles, maybe a minute sail, maybe an Let's hour see. at most. When I dove into the water this morning, it was particularly quiet and oddly vacant. Rattled my bones. His expression becomes uh, more distressed. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to pick up on the one. Like, me as well. Something feels stale in here. You must Indeed. be on guard. Uh, trust me, Tonga. I, I am ever vigilant when at the sea. My man. <laughs> My man. Kind <laughs> of give him a pat on the shoulder. We'll be all right. Whatever this outcropping will be, we'll get our hand on and figure out a way back. Mm, the, or the faster, the better. Get you guys out of here. It be the curse of the sea witch. <laughs> 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 Snyder just walks up nonchalantly. I was picturing you coming up behind him and whispering that in his ears. <laughs> Be the sea witch. <laughs> hey, Snyder. <laughs> oh, hey, Tonga. What's up? You're like, in a different way. She's like, you need the curse of the sea witch. You're like, hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Did Meanwhile, Rory, uh, what's a sea witch? I be talking about me ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I pat Rory on the head and it's like, you'll find out when you're older. I don't know if I want to, but you really don't. I do. I want to walk up and be like, tell me about your ex-wife. Hey Rory, do us a favor. Uh go check on the animal, would you? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, you, you know what? That's that's right. Didn't we like it 
Weren't like some of those toads like they they you do that they spit out that stuff that helps with like uh, ships and stuff. The shipwrights yeah, will love it. Start, and then he just dashes down, right, right. off. Oh, and find Big Joe. He's right over there. And he just kind of uh, points to a little uh, spot next to the uh, mast. And you just see this big old pile of fur. <laughs> oh, you sleeping? <laughs> yeah, I imagine like they're chill hounds, right? So like this feels like probably good to them. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Big Joe's loving it. He's just uh, chilling, just sprawled out. Uh, we love Big you know, Joe. Can I walk over to Big Joe and kind of like, I don't want to wake him up, but I'm just going to crouch down and give him a look over. Does he, does he look any different? He, he seems... Uh, he seems a little fluffier. Oh, let's keep... <laughs> give him a little scritch on the head. Good boy. All right. Now, everyone on deck, I need you to make a perception check. Fuck! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. How many times can I almost roll a one? Hey, not 20. What are you, you, I guess? Wait, what am I rolling? I can see. Perception. Yeah. Perception? Yep. Yes. Normal? Yes. Hey. Damn! Nice. Well, good uh, for you, little missus. I can I need to let y'all make the <laughs> No, man. <laughs> okay, uh, everyone with a uh, 18 or higher, you... Damn. So just you two. You don't see anything, but you hear something. Something faint. Like, oh. It's almost like a rushing sound, but underwater. And as uh, uh, is there anything you guys want to do? Like I'll, I'll give uh, anyone that passed the check kind of like a a chance to like take an action or something. Can I like get up to the masts of the ship? Yeah, Hal's gonna do that. Know? You're already twelve feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, so I could see more. <laughs> I can see twelve feet taller than I all of you. Like, <laughs> I just like a ladder, but you like, just climb up. <laughs> yeah, I get the good vantage. Do I need to roll like athletics to do that or something? Uh, not at all. You have a climb speed, and you're ridiculously fast. And as the shipwright, you know okay. where the handholds are, so that that's nothing to you. You're just up. You're just right up that thing. The fastest climber we've ever seen. <laughs> Hella, she doesn't even have to climb all that much. Just leaps to like the the first uh, part of the mast that's holding the the lower sail. Just leap, leap. <laughs> we got jumpy uh, woman. And uh, Chibi, as you get to the top of the mast and you're looking around, you you see a vague shadow off the left side of the ship. I think that's the port side. Wait, what does she see? A a, a oh, massive shit. shadow underneath the water. Underneath? Yes. Oh shit. Under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> if you call this out to me, I'll send my familiar in the water. Yeah, I imagine I would be like, "Hey guys, watch out! There's something down there." Yeah, I'm gonna immediately like look over the edge and kind of like just kind of signal to my familiar to dive. And as you uh, give that sing uh, signal, the ship uh, experiences like a, a sudden impact as oh, it, the whole thing starts to lurch to one side. Uh, er everyone make a dexterity check, and if you succeeded on the perception check, uh, have advantage. Is there you safe? Yes. Oh shit, I did a check. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I got a 11. All right. And you just kind of like hear uh, various shoutings from uh, 
the people on your ship like oh fuck and then just like a you, you see that one of the uh, shipwrights is just like accidentally hammered his palm uh, his palm and, like ah oh, why <laughs> every time we get hit like the second it goes into the water and we're like oh. <laughs> no my favorite oh, that hammer. was my good hammer <laughs> Uh, I know the I pain quickly, of losing uh, a good hammer. <laughs> my familiar perception beneath the waves. Do I do I see anything? <laughs> uh, you see just this massive creature uh, as it starts to uh, head up towards the surface, and mm. then uh, looking out, you you see what your familiar had seen, just this uh, big uh, big creature. It, like it, it's easily like uh, the 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 size of a large a, a pretty large building. Oh shit! Okay. I so uh, yeah, as it, soon as we uh, get hit by that contact, I'm gonna shout out, "Everyone, get below deck! Contact!" I told you it'd be the curse of the sea witch. <laughs> <laughs> Say no witch. Can I look? It's a sea king. And, Listen, your ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> and as, as it's just kind of like uh, looming over the ship, you just see this big old uh, coral uh, patterned uh, mass of like kind of slick scales and sharp teeth and like a, oh, a very snake like head with like various frills up and down the side like a frill lizard oh i'm gonna make sure everyone gets below deck but i'm gonna stay yeah and roll it okay he's abruptly stops i know right <laughs> yes not the combat encounter Oh yeah. Ooh. Are all of us rolling initiative? I yes. Okay. Oh, uh, you can just roll There's a d20. No combat combat initiative initiative. Me? Yeah, just do a d20 plus your dexterity. Oh. Great new scene. Of okay, all these so rolls, I didn't that even I'm uh, again. That I'm I didn't combat. make the combat the way it was supposed to why be. Does it, why does it all say me? What the? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just uh, throw uh, some of the some of our people on deck, and then uh, roll initiative that way. And make sure you all uh, pull yourself out too. And since there's, there's no combat. combat. Yeah, yeah. Pull, yeah make sure you I'm, pull I'm, out your. Oh, <laughs> I didn't need to do that with Snyder. God, there's still <laughs> <with> the hell. <laughs> there's <a game>. <laughs> <laughs> There's two teams. Nah, uh, backspace. <laughs> huh? Backspace. backspace. There. <laughs> GB's so like fast. You, you click it's on it cool. and then backspace. Huh. Alright. And then while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna put our creature here. Out on the map. And of course, I for forgot to uh, put good art on it, but that's okay. Big old mysterious snake thing. I'm gonna look to Gordy. This is the Sea King. That's it! Garkunta! I'm gonna have this like. No, that's like, Snyder's ex wife. Have this wide, <laughs> shark tooth green as I like, bear my free. teeth. <laughs> Listen, Skype is weird, okay? <laughs> There's water in the sky. <laughs> Let's go throw some here. NPCs out here. Hey, good thing we got those uh, guns and stuff now, huh? <laughs> All right, now I can uh, set this combat up right. Are they gonna be able to use like the ballistas and stuff? Uh, you have two cannons. Oh, okay, cannons, right. That's good. 
and we kind of signal to them, get on the cannons. There we go. Hey. Now we got the not that safe. Should we roll again? Uh, it, it auto rolls. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's me just being unprepared slightly because I've spent most of my day underneath a car. What is? All right, so first up is Tonga. Okay. Um, I'm going to yeah, I'll shout like to them to get on the game. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> um, it's like well, I'm gonna I'm gonna recall from my familiar, uh, turn them back into my sword. Here goes one of my spell slots. Uh, okay. I'm going to. <clears throat> I'm gonna cast Mage Armor, obviously, oh. <laughs> as, a, as a bonus action. As a bonus action? Going... Really? Yeah, it's a... Uh... Oh, okay, yeah, it's an action, sorry. Cast Mage Armor as an action, and then... I'll cast my Ghost Fire Blade as a bonus action. Nice. So you were just like uh, you watch, ready. Yeah. So you, you watch as a, a my blue light kind of travels up to my mouth, and a knife with like a curved blade kind of forms out of light. Ooh. And I just want to. Yeah, and that's that's all I got. It holds my concentration for up to a minute. Wait, can I make an attack? Uh, no. No, okay, concern. that's part of it. Okay. So I'll just mark this. Concentrating mage armor. Yeah. Alright, that is my round. Alright, and next up, we got oh, one of the shipwrights, and he kind of like scrambles uh, over to the edge, uh, and he starts setting up a cannon. Uh, it's a good thing we brought this along, Mr. Tonga. Ah. So glad you did. <laughs> and he's just kind of like moving it and just trying to get it aimed and loaded. So he spends his turn doing that. That's good. And this guy, uh, he pulls out a a gun and moves over to that side of the ship and he just uh, takes a shot at the Sea King and it, as it does it just the you see the bullet just kind of glance right off uh, its uh, skull and then just kind of like looks in its direction eyes narrowed I could oh no and now it's the Sea King's turn. And it kind of reels back and uh, tilts its head. And it just uh, expels a big old crate, a big old wave of frigid water. And it, it comes like right over here. And be around Gordy and Chibi. Is Snyder and these two people like in the water? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I didn't scale the uh, ship correctly. Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's my bad. But yeah, it, it goes uh, for that, and this big old torrent of water just bludgeons uh, the just the deck of the ship. Is splashing and uh, Gordy actually has to make a save here. Uh, Chibi, you're at the top of the mass, so you won't have to deal with that. And Gordy saves, so he only takes half of that damage for 12. And you just see, you just hear him like, ah!
and then moving. Oh wait, actually, wait. and you just feel the ship kind of lurch again. Uh, no one has to make any saves for this, but uh. it just bludgeons the size the, the side of the ship. But thankfully, it doesn't seem to have done uh, any dam any real damage that time. Next up is Gordy, and he just uh, takes out his pistol and fires two shots into it before running off uh, to uh, get some distance. And both miss completely. Damn. But Gordy is shaking up. And moving on, we got Big Joe. Hey. And as a Big Joe kind of wakes up from his nap, he kind of takes a very defensive stance. His hackles raised, his uh, his tail uh, straightening out. And as you guys uh, see, he just like he starts to grow bigger and bigger. <laughs> And the hair around his uh, neck just elongates and becomes real thick and gray. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's his, cool. His uh, entire body becoming thicker and more muscular. He is now in his hybrid lion form. Let's go. Let's go. I look to Big Joe and just be like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like cheering. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and Damn, Big Joe, what happened to you? This is this is great news for my research. <laughs> he lunges forward and unleashes a a mighty howl. And you you see the uh, Sea King just kind of like taken aback by uh, like. This puny creature lunging forward at him, and Big Joe uh, goes for an attack, dealing. Oh, not bad. That was awesome. At seven damage. Okay. So Big Joe just kind of like lunges right up, jump, kind of like leaping, and like doing a big old claw slash attack before like jumping back off of him. Big oh, Joe just cool. got bigger. <laughs> yeah. Bigger Joe. Bigger Joe. Mega Next Joe. up is Akisu with Tilda oh. on deck. Oh, shit. It's my turn. It's your turn. I'm conflicted. <laughs> I'm wondering. That's not what I meant to do. Huh? I think I want to use my uh conqueror's hockey a little bit all right okay all right. Sure. All right. let's see what you got what's the save what's the save yeah what's the uh save dc or uh I don't well i just have to cast um frightening gaze yeah yeah but there's a, there's a dc uh, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, is, so click on it. Use ability. Spring This is why Sam is the is the man for the uh, uh, DM's assistant. Oh, so frightening gaze just lets you use cause fear. She's gonna try cause fear. Oh, so it's a <laughs> spell of cause fear. So you just click that. And cast it. And it's a DC 11. Mm. Alright, here we go. Unfortunately, it, it saved. That's Damn. Right. 17. But okay, as, as you uh, kind of use your frightening gaze uh, upon it, it, it does seem kind of like it seems like it's just Wait. moving around uh, and then 
it, it shakes its head to kind of like clear itself. You were saying something, Micah? I'm, I'm talking to Sianna. It's not related. All right, oh, okay. I'm working on a character design. Oh, cool. So that's your action, Micah. Uh, you still have a bonus action. Okay. <clears throat> I also realized I'm not in the uh, initiative, so. Oh, you're not. I'll just, um, cast Hunter's Mark on it, then, as my bonus action. You're just, like, going down. Funny thing is, that's not as far off of what my initial roll was, so we're good. Alright, <laughs> now for Tilda. And she just kind of, like, uh, pulls to her feet. She's scared, but kind of, like, looks around. Uh, there's no choice. And... She kind of uh, dashes towards the cannon that was being readied earlier and pulls out a lighter. Oh. Oh, to light it. Okay. And you just kind of like a... Uh, Snyder, you're closest uh, to her, so you just hear her mumbling, I hope this works. <laughs> and a few uh, oh, uh, flint sparks from the lighter. <laughs> and followed by the deafening boom of a, a cannon. And it hits. Ooh. And you just see the Energy. cannonball yeah. just slam right into the side of the creature, uh, leaving a massive bruise. Dealing. Good shot, Tilda. Oh. What damage you cannon do again? Isn't it like, it's like 5 e or something like that? Fifteen damage for this one. I'll take that. That's pretty decent. Go Tilda. And then she proceeds to use her bonus action to hide behind the cannon. Good shot. And it is Chibi's turn. I'll take a shot. All right. Chibi's going for it. Ooh, I got 11 to hit. All right. You, you ready your bow and you take a shot. As it does land, but just like a, the sheer angle of impact causes the arrow to snap. It, it's got a tough high. Is Should there anything else you want to do with your turn? Try to hide. All right. Yeah, give me a uh, stealth check. It, since it's just kind of like looming over the ship, it, it does see you. Alright. Next up, we got a shipwreck. Oh, wait, no. Thank you. Yeah, we did that. This is a bop. <laughs> and he this rushes is, over this to the, me of uh, Cry. the second cannon and uses his action oh, to ready it. <laughs> Rory takes out both of his guns. My boy! <laughs> yeah, Rory! <laughs> this is terrifying, Taga. <laughs> <laughs> Akisu, am I holding them right? You're doing great! <laughs> you're doing great! Alright! You're doing so good, buddy! And he's gonna fire two shots at it. Child with double pistols, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he crit! Hey! Oh my God. hey! That's our boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we keep Rory around. This is why you're my favorite, from... Rory. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> my that Lucy is boy. 14 damage. Wow. wow. He manages to get one of the uh, shots, like, 
right in its <clears throat> nostril. Oh. <laughs> oh, I I did it. Yeah. Turn across the ship here. Great shot, lad. <laughs> I really am learning from the best. And he ends his turn. And this guy immediately starts reloading the cannon again, using his action. Hey, that's good. All right, it is the Sea King's turn. And it lashes out at one of the, actually at Big Joe, with no. a bite attack. And it misses. Big Joe nice. like uh, uh, sees it coming and he leaps back, uh, maintaining a, a very solid stance. How get... how far away is the like? Where's the edge of the ship? Is it where Big Joe is? Yeah, but like uh, oh. the, the ship's a little wider than that, so uh, I I wouldn't put too much uh, stock in like a uh, how the uh, map is. It's just kind of an approximation right, right. right now. Oh, we're in theory of the mind here. <laughs> yeah, we're in that in-between zone. Gotcha, gotcha. So, Big Joe just kind of like uh, skitters back, uh, claws digging into the uh, the boards of the ship a little bit. And he just like howls defiantly. Then the uh, this massive uh, monstrosity proceeds to kind of whip a tail around and it it looks like it's trying to go for Gordy but it ends up getting one of the shipwrights instead and he fails the save so he is now grappled by this thing Oh, does it like wrap his tail around him? Oh, yes. And you just hear a sickening crunch. Oh no! As he, he, he he's li he's lifted up in the air, this, this tail constricting around him like a snake, and you just hear like ah, and then the scream is cut short. And then he just it, die? Yes. Dripping. And then the body is dropping into the water. Rip shipwreck. And the casualty war. And that ends that turn. Don't forget guys, you can um use a bonus action to eat the treat and gain the uh, five ten. Oh I thought we already did that. Oh I mean if you if you hadn't Oh, okay. yeah. I think we all just assume that as soon as the, uh, they get a Tonga treat, they go for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I keep I've been saving mine. <laughs> Alright. It is Snyder's turn. Let's go. <clears throat> In lieu of seeing that person getting crushed to death, I am going to move. Cry. Yeah, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move directly in front of it on the edge of the ship and Ooh. cast a thunder wave. Ooh. You're giving the, the door treatment. Oh, no. Uh, wave, not clap. Well, e either way, it's the door treatment because door, door. True. Treatment. Yeah. All right. All right. Cast uh, it at the second level. Uh, what's the save for it? Uh, do do do. Ba, 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 ba. Let me look at it. Uh, ba, 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 I think it's DC 13. Constitution. Uh, ten for con. Okay, so it's a con save. Yeah, with a DC of 10. 
Oh, your, your save DC is 10? Are you sure? I think. It should be uh, 13. Yeah. It's saying 10 on it. Well, it but. should be 13, but nonetheless, it will pass because this thing has obscene constitution, so it'll take half damage. All right. All right, so we'll roll the damage. Come on. Everything's in the way. There. All right. Damage. Eleven. So like half. That's better. I had to readjust that. Ooh. <laughs> I like that little effect on there. So you said eleven, right? Alright. Yes. Oh, what is that? It's like the area of effect. It's so cool, though. I like it. So, you get over there, and using your door abilities, you, you create a massive gateway that th these doors open up and then forcibly slam into each other, creating a big ol' impact. This is for him! Whoever his name was. <laughs> <laughs> this is for that guy! Clap. I'm sorry I didn't bother to learn your name! His name was Thomas! <laughs> for Thomas! <laughs> and next up in turn order, unless you have anything else to do with your turn, will be Tonga. Oh, uh, I don't have anything else. Alright. Here's right. what I'm gonna do. With the both blades in hand, shadow blade in the mouth, I'm taking a run and leap onto this boy. All right. I'm gonna, as I kind of jump to uh, land on them, I'm gonna stab both my blades in as mm -hmm. part of my attack, if possible. Uh, roll for that, that's badass. Uh, so, with my three weapon fighting, I can make two attacks and raise the damage die of my swords. Da -da -da, so, hit Kopesh. Boop. There's a 17 hit. No, but it, it leaves a uh, a sizable scratch in some of its scales. This okay. thing is tough. Do I uh, do I successfully like land on him though? Oh yeah, it, you you dig into Sick. it enough to be able to get on there. So I'm gonna stand on. I'm gonna. Slap. Oh, what was that, Sam? Um, uh, with my second attack, I'm going to Ghost Fire Blade. All right. The vault. Uh, I told you to use What about a 23? Oh, that hits. <laughs> that hits. All right, that's two D eight psychic damage. Does it add anything? I guess it would add my perfect. So D eight two. Oh, and it adds my spell mod too. Plus. There we go. Twenty two. All right. Go ahead, kid. 
22 second damage. I don't see any charger kit. Oh, it's not here. Witness me! <laughs> You're just tearing. Oh, 22 points of psychic damage. Here you go. I shall be Shut the door behind you, Ash. All right, 20. We're eating points. good tonight, boys. Hot damn. That 22. 22? That's even better. Yep. Psychic. And it has no resistances to that. But because it is psychic damage, you dear, you do uh, hear like a, a deep rumble against your mind as you uh, inflict that damage. The will is strong. And that's your turn? Um... Yeah, that's my action, bonus action. I'm gonna stay clutched onto him as much as I can. <laughs> All right. He, he's big enough that I'll allow that. And this guy uh, readies the cannon. He lights the fuse, and you just hear him shout, "For Thomas, Tonga, look out!" And you just hear a deafening boom as another uh, cannon uh, fires off for 20 damage. Damn. And you just feel like it bludgeoned right into the side of this thing. I'm like, ah, oh, you don't like that, do you? Hit our ship again, you bitch. <laughs> you guys are doing meaningful damage to this thing. Our bunny worked so hard on this. <laughs> <laughs> and next up, it's Gordy. He peeks up, it, it takes a shot with his gun, and goes back to hiding. My man, it's okay. Be safe. And it misses entirely. Oh, man. Yeah. He's not a very good shot, is he? He takes a fear god in him. He goes for a second shot, and it does seem to hit. Oh, that's a warning shot, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> he does eight damage. Okay. All right. Next to warn you, I'm not that good of a shot. <laughs> All right. Next up, Big Joe. I like the music change when you said that. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> okay. Big Joe just kind of lunges forward, following Tonga's pursuit. It leaping from like a uh, side to side uh, on once it gets onto its body, claws digging in. And it goes to make a bite attack. He he can't seem to bite through the hide. So as he uh, is there, he just attempts to rip through with some of his with a second claw attack, which hits for eight damage. Go, Joe! <laughs> he has infinity. No. <laughs> And then he just kind of like leaps right back off of it to the, to like the edge Next of the deck. The ship. With for a perfect landing, damn! Nice. That was a twenty. Okay, Akisu, it's your turn. All right, I'm gonna put these in chat just so we can read them. Nice. Lock on. Yep, and we're marked. So I will load a regular sling bullet into my slingshot. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do shrapnel. Wait, no, that'll hit Tonga. So I'll just do a regular. <laughs> you don't want shrapnel. <laughs> <laughs>
Damn. Does a nine hit? No. Damn. Cool. This, this thing's got tough hide, so it just kind of glances off. Well, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Tilda. She she takes her uh, pistol and she fires a shot. And it misses. It's like, oh, how tough is this thing? Apparently super tough. And it's Chibi's turn. I'm going to try to, like, jump down and go for the cannon. All right. I don't know what <laughs> Well, I think one of them is uh, currently unmanned since he got crunched. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah, uh, it's right next to Tonga. Tonga. Is it Logan? Or do I have to next to me? Back? I'm on the... I'm not Tonga, uh, Snyder. There's one next to Snyder that is Logan. Ten for damage. Okay. <laughs> okay, plus four, that makes ten. This this thing's starting to look a little bloody. I hope it is if he dies, I can just stay on him. <laughs> Stabbing the fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rory's turn. Hit him, Rory. Rory uh, takes You're better a, than I did. It takes a shot, and he's trying to use uh, the help action by uh, shouting to Tonga, You got this! And let's see if he can hit him again. You just see like a thumbs up from its back. <laughs> Rory takes There's a shot buddy. and like it, it the, the wind just kind of carries it and it goes wide but he has given Tonga the help action so advantage on uh, one of your rolls next turn nice and this guy is loading a cannon And now it is the Sea King's turn again. Tonga, you are on its back, so you are going to be catching some of its uh, ire here. Okay, so it, it's going to uh, try to whip you with its tail. Uh, what's your AC? 17. Okay, that was a 16, so... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Same. It whips uh, towards the back of, uh, that you're hanging from, and you narrowly escape. It's like it's just like a centimeter away as it winds right by you, and you can feel the, the, the rush of air as it goes by. I picture I'm, like, holding on to its frills. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, woof! <laughs> and as uh, that happens, it, you feel a, a sudden lurch as it flips backwards and dives deep into the water. And Good thing you're a fish. <laughs> Honestly. Um, I to, uh, Tonga, check. Uh, make a, a strength save to see if you can kind of stick uh, to it. Because gotcha. this is a massive uh, rush from? of water. Can I use the uh, the advantage from Rory on this? Yes. Yes, you can. 
Oh, oh wow. <laughs> what a fucking chance. That's that's unfortunate. <laughs> so, uh, as you hit the water, it just it's just such a sudden forceful blow. Yeah. Like at the surface tensions like holy shit, what's going on here? And it you're knocked off. And as it like kind of dives in and turns around, it like it seems like it's inhaling and unleashes just a massive torrent of water uh, toward you. I need you to make a deck save. Fortunately, because you are a fish man, this will be a normal deck save. Oh my no. god. Yikes. Damn. Oh, Rolls are no. ass. At least I have resistance to cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's going to be. Oh no! You're going to take a twenty-five bludgeoning damage. Damn! I think and... is down. No, I'm good. Oh, and ten just damage. Okay, so half. So would it be like three cold damage? Uh, five. I have a uh, resistance. Oh, is that the yeah? Resistance? Yeah. Oh, so, okay. so there goes my temp. I'm down to <laughs> five. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, the ship, uh, because this is a siege monster, act actually takes fifty uh, damage to the hull. Yeah, damn it. And to the rest of you on deck. You've just seen uh, Tonga get, like, taken underwater and, like, ditched. Like, actually, you don't know what's going on with him. flying out of the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, 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 the force of uh, the blast sends Tonga out of the water. Oh, God, no. I'm like, you can hear me go, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> we're, we're all gonna die. And you just kind of, like, see Tonga, like, skip a, a couple uh, steps like a stone. <laughs> <laughs> before like tumbling back into the water uh, as well as like the, the ship lurches uh, to the side a bit the uh, shipwrights that are still up uh, still alive are just like oh, below deck we have to patch it immediately so on their turn they'll be heading below deck and that is the creature's turn is it below deck right now underwater uh, I mean it is below water Okay. And it is Snyder's turn. I'm sorry, Snyder. This is like the worst time for it to be below water. Yeah. Um. Uh, you can uh, heal me. <laughs> are you? I don't think I can because you're not within range of touch. Oh, it has to be a touch for the one that I can cast. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, what's the one that it. you can cast? Because. Uh, I like how your fruit is. I'm, I'm willing to be a little more uh, lenient with that. Uh, cure wounds. I mean, you do have prayer of you. Oh yeah. Oh, I, was... I just used uh, thunder wave at second level, so it used. Oh, I was thinking spell. like one of your uh, one of your doors. Like you just open a door for him to get back on the ship. True. True. Oh. Yeah. That would be nice. <laughs> I mean, that's just what I I assumed that you were thinking. Uh, um. Because I can probably just use my movement to come back. I am going to use Tensor's floating disc to make a platform on the water for Tonga to stand on. Ah, nice. you're making a floating door. Okay, okay. And just so we have more maneuverability in the water. Yeah. That's a good idea. Say. Yeah, kind of, I lift up with the Snyder. Thanks. Anything for a good old friend of mine. <laughs> so, wait, so I got knocked off. Where am I now? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, uh... You would be like right over 
here. And this thing's just like, uh, who who the fuck knows underwater? All right, yeah, we kind of lost sight. Where? Where did I go? <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> that, that's a good question. Where is Snyder? my token's gone? <laughs> <laughs> did you accidentally you... delete your token? Oh. I don't think so. Nope, pull yourself back out, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess so. <laughs> Oh. Well, I accidentally clicked the thing ahead in turn order, but still, you you should like, pull your token. Oh, <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? big boy Snyder? Here, I'll fix it. There we go. All right, I'm loving the teamwork. And now it is Tonga's turn. All right, um, well, I have lost visual, so I will use my movement to come back to the ship. Right, well, the ship's like a lot closer than I thought. Where is it? Like right here? <laughs> yeah. Um, mm. uh, Oh, okay, you know what? Here, I'll, um... I will use my action to pop off my hockey or of life. Alright. Um, this gives me 1d6 icon plus my character level and temporary points. Okay, that's the way to go. Tonga is definitely the resident tank here. <laughs> it's plus my constitution. That's pretty decent. Score? Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay. Alright, that's good. Uh, anything anything else you want to do for your turn? Tonga? I don't know. Where'd he go? Uh, Sam, is there anything hello, hello. else you want to do for your turn? No. Oh, okay. Action. Yeah, uh, for some reason it was... I, I didn't hear it. Can yes. you hear me? Uh, what now? Uh, I... Oh, what was that, Sam? You see my body... Oh, connections. Shit. That that explains why. Uh, <laughs> my villain services. Okay, there we go. There we go. I, I can hear you now. <laughs> I doing that? Can you give yourself like advantage on next turn or something? By doing what? Uh, well, I use I use my action, oh. right? so I guess I would just. I just be holding my that doesn't really Like if you want to hold your action on a turn and not do anything, uh, can you give yourself advantage for the next turn? Uh, yeah, you can, like... you can pause your action to yeah, trigger yeah. off of something. You're like, if you're like, if the monster surfaces, I'll do this. So you could be, yeah, like if, if it surfaces within range, I want to... So you want to ready yourself. Yeah, 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 but you have to be specific on what you're holding for. Yeah. Yeah, and I already used my action, so I can't. Yeah, 
But yeah, that, that ends my round. I'm just gonna use my aura of life and kind of brace myself for the next step. All right. And as established before, one of the shipwrights goes below deck to kind of patch uh, the damage from the impact earlier that thankfully Tonga survived. And then moving up to Gordy, uh, he just kind of uh, makes a mad dash for the helm. It, we've got to go! We have to leave before that thing resurfaces! You crazy? Just follow us on so much faster than this shit. The Tonga, didn't you say there was an island nearby? Get out here. Ah, yeah, I saw an outcropping. If, if we could make our way there. Didn't. I guess it wouldn't hurt to be at least on the move. You can start heading towards it, I guess. The way I can move. Yeah, let's we can we can pull the anchor up. Yeah. Uh, around, I, guess. I thought we were already moving. Uh, you you no, were we like a, a, you guys had readied the ship oh, okay. uh, the ship and were moving in that general direction previously. Ah, uh, okay. Now it's Big Joe's turn. Big Joe just kind of a. Uh, Prowls around, just kind of readying for when it surfaces again. So yeah, so like this, a big joke and hold his action here. Yep. And now it's Aki's action. I will also do the same thing, just ready in action. I'll load, um, like, a shrapnel um, bullet in and just ready myself for when it resurfaces. All right. The second it pops up, we're gonna have like three attacks go off. <laughs> can I like peer over the side to see if I can see it? Can I make a perception check with disadvantage. That's pretty good. That's good with disadvantage. I know, right? Uh, you you peer I over and you go see a vague it. shadow <laughs> uh, deep below the waves. <laughs> Hey guys, I think he's over here. It's you can now see that it's to this area underneath the ship. Okay. Whip the cannons. Yeah, yeah point the cannons over here. He's under the waves on my side. Captain's orders. And Tilda uh, gets right to the helm. All right, we're heading towards the island, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it's already behind us. Uh, this is this is a day. <laughs> Life is so much simpler just... as a smuggler. I say we handle ourselves. But it wasn't as fun, was it? So I'm gonna shout out, <laughs> hey, there's uh. And hey, there's, there's metal plates down, down there. there. Reinforce the bottoms. And, like, try to help action the guys that are in the ship. And with that, actually, they restore 9 HP to the ship. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, okay. Good. And then already in action to attack. <laughs> Well, you, it's going to pop up are, and get blasted. <laughs> yeah. Can I specifically try running my action to like see if I can hit it, like shoot in his mouth? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if there's a if there's a chance to shoot in the mouth, you can definitely ready an action for that. And then next up is Rory, who, being too small to actually help with the uh, the cannons, he's just kind of like mm -hmm. peering over the side. Uh, his gun's ready. All right. 
I'm, I'm prepared to give uh, any help I can. And with that, he's giving the help action to Akisu. Nice. And next My one, man. The ship right, and this one is trying to move the cannon over to the other side. And he manages to do that with his action. Ooh. And now the Sea King uh, just comes barreling through the water, slams into the side of the ship again. Oh, oh I thought you were showing me. It's loading. And. Alright, what's the damages on that? That's a D12. Okay, it it does another eight damage to the ship. Oof. Everything like it just got back. And then it surfaces and it's lunging towards Rory, attempting a bite attack. Get him. So we have Big Joe, Chibi, and Akisu all ready to attack. And Rory. Okay. No, Rory thank gave me the help action. Dude, thank fuck this thing rolled a five. I don't want to lose Rory. <laughs> but now that everyone's did. attacks go off, right? Yes, and because it was a bite attack, that also triggers Chibi's thing. Oh, yeah. So, okay, you guys, what does this team attack look like since everyone's attacks are triggering at the same time? Just an onslaught of random attacks. <laughs> various, I, uh, various I explosions. Imagine, like, and various things manga throwing. Well, I, I didn't. And like her propelling herself off the hand mid throw. <laughs> Jimmy's making a shot. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rory's shot. taking a shot too. And then I think also Big Joe wanted to do something too. Yes, Big Joe uh, just bounds forward, leaping. And he just like lunges right onto it, claws uh, out. And that's a hit. For eight damage. And he bites for a nat one. And you hear a yelp of pain. Aww. Snyder, you're fair. You recognize that as the. You're fairly certain he might have broke a tooth. No! <laughs> when you're a dentist! <laughs> I'm a doctor, not a dentist! Did uh, Chibi's 16 hit? Well, I'm given that it is a mouth and not the outside portion. Yes. Okay. His, uh, nice. his natural scales would have a higher AC than the inside of his mouth. Well, they... And actually, Chibi, you would have advantage on this because oh, that okay. everyone else is popping off their attacks and is close by. So add some sneak attack. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, so that? yeah, that makes sense. They would lose. And uh, because it's advantage, who knows? So, maybe, maybe you crit. Yeah, it's a so you can roll to hit again, um, and then roll an additional like d6 for your sneak. Twenty-one attack. to hit. All right, so you you definitely hit, and you get to add your sneak attack to the to this. There we go. So total eighteen. All right. That's a lot. Th th that is a lot. Yeah, sneak attack is really good. I guess the mouth is just super <laughs> sensitive. And then what about uh, Akisu's shot? Yeah. I have advantage, right, because of Rory? Yeah. Rory. Yep. Oh, I know, God. right? <laughs> Thirteen. Oh God. Oh no. It doesn't. It still misses, hit, doesn't it? But God like it, me. like it's just like. You did blast it right in the face, so it's just like, whoa. It was shrapnel. Does that do anything? 
Uh, that's more of an area of effect thing. That's okay. I feel like I ask that every time. You do. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It'd be All like right. that, though. And with that, it it just kind of uh, worms away and it knocks Big Joe in off its back. Now, I need to give him a save to see if that's in the water or not. Okay. So, Big Joe just kind of, like, claws onto the side of the ship. He, he's dangling off all, like, uh, Scar Mufasa style. Oh, I get him! And you see, like, a, a massive splash as water rains down on just ice-cold water just raining down on all of you on the back end of the ship. Next up is Snyder. All right. So I Big Joe's got to be like three times the size of Rory now, huh? Oh, shit, <laughs> like... oh yeah, Big <laughs> Joe is size class large, so technically he's oh! mountable. Hey, it, can uh, I can I mount too. him? Because I'm also large. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you're large right. that you can't. <laughs> um. <laughs> Medium creatures can ride him. I'm going to rush over to Tonga. Hey, thanks. And, and I'm like basically full health with the temp HP, but my actual health is nice. I got she. <laughs> I'm like a pseudo tank with. <laughs> right. And I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. My con is not high enough. <laughs> so you just rush right over and you just start patching him up. This is like, oh my god, oh, much appreciated. That blast. When you get hurt, to Tonga, man. he's just a bloody <laughs> mess of like scratches and bruises. He's, oh my god, no! <laughs> I heal eight. Yay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a thirteen. <sighs> you guys have done very well. Ugh, thanks. That's my main act. Hey, we're gonna get we're gonna get his ass. Considering that everybody's crack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait till the session is over and I tell you guys what the CR is. <laughs> um. And then. Would readying an impact dial count as an action or a bonus action? I'd call that an action. All right, I'll save that for next turn then. All right, next up is Tonga, patched up and raring to go. Oh. Also, I need to make a uh, a con save for my my concentration. Oh, my God. oh yeah, I forgot about that. Me too. I, I'm pretty sure based on the damage I took, I just lose concentration out. Yeah, let's go with that, because that was a massive amount of damage. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pay like that. Take this off. So my sword, as you rush over, you see the the ghostly light sword kind of like vanish. And I kind of like spit out some blood. My like, god, I just got to use that. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Hmm. So I got two spots um, I'm going to. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna cast Branding Smite. Alright. And then I'm going to make my. So, so are you like diving off the ship to attack this thing? Did it go back under the water? It did. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna dive back into the water, rush up to it, pull out my blades. The 
20 hit. Okay, so... Yeah. So you kind of like dive right off. You managed to get a hit on it. Sick. Okay, so I got 2d6 extra radiant damage. And with this hit, it starts to emit light. Okay, so 5 plus 2d8 plus 8. 17 radiant damage. Sam, your radiant damage just broke the clip on my pen, and it's totally not me. <laughs> <laughs> So you watch as um, I, like, I cast the Branding Smite, my blades kind of get like a halo of extra radiant light on me. As I dive into the water, you see the light kind of trailing beneath the waves. As I slash out, and you immediately see like the length of this creature just become outlined in a glow. As there's a flash of light as I see. So now it sheds dim light in a five foot radius. And that's about all right. It's my action, my bonus action, and my movement. And this guy just to uh, back <coughs> with uh, <coughs> patching the ship up underneath. Hopefully Gordon's now you guys to... can at least see it better. Than yeah. What? Gordy's just trying to urge everybody to keep going. <laughs> I love how we're like mostly ignoring him. <laughs> we're fighting on the run, so I mean. <laughs> and he lives under the waves now. <laughs> Aki, see what's your turn. Unfortunately, ranged attacks from above won't work while it's underwater. Uh, uh. I guess I'll just ready another attack. Alright. With my sling, I'll do a regular bullet this time. Sounds good. Wait, so, so, wait. Uh, uh, yeah? Can I use the help action? Yes, you can. I will give Tanga the help action. And uh, hey. what are you doing to help here? I'm just. Can he see me right now? Or is he underwater? Um, he's, a, he's underwater. You, you could do it like as I like ran. I'm gonna give you a thumbs up no. and a wink. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, what the random tokens keep disappearing? <laughs> Where'd Big Joe go? <laughs> oh, that's what I accidentally did. I, I, I knew I accidentally deleted it. Oh. <laughs> I just didn't know what. Yeah, from, a, from turn order and everything. Oh no. Well, well that, that's okay, because moving up in a turn order to Chibi, because Tilda's just <laughs> continuing to steer the ship. So can Big yeah. Joe see me? Yeah. I'm gonna be like, Big Joe! He's like, like oh yeah, he's, he's like, dangling off the side. Oh shit, sure, that's what I should have done. Oh, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make like a biting uh, movement and then point to my eye and then point to the monster and give him the help action. <laughs> 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 Get his eye! And then, uh, I'm ready in action to do the same thing as before. Alright. Uh, Rory is like, Big Joe! Come on! <laughs> and he's just like, trying, helps Big Joe up. But he's like, really struggling. Pulls his huge paw. And the, <laughs> uh, the ship right uh, next to him, uh, where the cannon uh, was, is, uh, helps him with that. So they use their combined action to get Big Joe up. Yay. Okay. 
And now it's the Sea King's turn. And Tonga, you see it just a, do a big flip of its tail. And it just surges away under the water at bl- a blinding speed. What a bitch. <laughs> so he's running away. It, it is a big old... It is a big old creature. Damn. Survival instincts kick. How kick far? Let's see. It, this thing has... It, it moves out at least 100 feet. Damn. So the best I can do is hit it with an eldritch blast. Imagine having a sea king coat or some shit. Maybe I like know, it. right? I will tell you guys, you got very, very close to killing this thing. Damn it! And I was gonna use Beast Bond on fucking Big Joe to give him advantage again. Alright. Yeah. So, un- unless Tonga yeah, wants the best to I make like. Hit it with okay, uh, Tonga's I mean, the only I can one probably, that can, can do like anything. Chase. Yeah. It has a higher swim speed. I think. Okay, so me. Fuck. Okay, so here's what I can do. Using, like, my full movement to close the. What is it? 30 feet? Yeah, that's what I have. 30 feet. I'll get 30 feet closer, and then I'll just kind of, like, shoot an Eldritch Blast at it. So you're just kind of shooting a big old uh, water wave to just try to. Boom. <laughs> get at that. Uh, that last little. You just, like, uh, I'm. Like. Big ol' spanking for this thing. Above the water, swimming away, and then you you just see a ball of light. Great for me. Me then. All right, roll the hit. Okay. With it. Um, Ooh, they both they miss. There's a 16 hit. No. Damn. No. Yeah. It's gone. And as it misses, I'll be like, ugh, fine. I know that I won't be able to catch it, so on my next round, I'll make my way back. And that ends combat. That's a damn shame. You're and so close to eating see. Sea King. <laughs> so close to eating Sea King. <laughs> I know, right? And uh, I'll never know what it tastes like. It's delicious. Yet. Yet. <laughs> Tell your friends! It's hard to fight sea creatures. Okay. Uh, all of you for that encounter will receive 1500 XP. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. yeah that, that sea king is a tough one. I will say that uh, your teamwork and having some extra crew members with your ship has you batting outside the range of what you'd normally be able to take on at your level. Hey, makes sense. Cannons are good. Cannons are very good. It's a good thing that you had told those guys that you wanted two cannons. Yeah. So as I make my way back to the ship, I'm going to crawl over the side. Like... He's fucking away. Or he, he fucking got away. He's, He's fucking, fucking away. away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pissed. I'm like, ah. Gordy just is slumped over, just in, in a very open sitting position, just relieved. Like, ah, it's gone. Kind of walk over to him, give him a hand to help him up. Hey, we did good. Shame for Thomas. <laughs> That's his name. Was that his name? Was it Thomas? Yes. Yes. yes, it was. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. I say it questioningly, but I give a look of remorse as I look out to the floating body. Yeah. I'll go what, again. I'll if go you could call it a body. <laughs> This mangled yeah. corpse. I'll, I'll go retrieve the corpse. <laughs> so 
so we can give him a proper send off. Ironically, a proper send off. He died of warriors into the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, <laughs> with, it's with, on our with turn. feeling. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So you you do that, and the crew like just kind of gathers together to give a proper funeral for Thomas. I take one of my carrots and I put it on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of look down, realize Thomas he died a warrior's death to the clutches. Of a sea king. How badass. That is how I I imagine we all wish we could go. He was a craftsman. Today. We got the blood of the enemy within our sights. And we know next time this foul beast rises, we will take its head. We shall firmly grasp the opportunity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just as the Sea King firmly grasped Tom, and I kind of, <laughs> we're gonna put him, I'll put him on like a like a little like wooden like raft, and kind of push him out. And I kind of look to Akisu, if you would, and kind of like just uh, kind of like you know light the flaming arrow, so to speak. <laughs> I don't have any flames. Yeah, well, we can we can take a minute. To I got a gunpowder. Do you want me to explode him? Actually, uh, Tilda kind of leans no, over. Don't explode him. Need a light? I have yeah. produced yeah. flames. Tilda some cloth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tilda some cloth, please. I'll kind of like wrap an arrow, and then pass douse it, it in oil. <laughs> he just douses it in uh, fish oil. <laughs> I'll just remorsely shoot it. And you just see it go up in flames as the snow continues to fall all around. The carrot roasts. <laughs> I can then you just see the rest the of the scent of roasting carrot wafts on the air. She finds herself just drooling a little bit thinking about that roasted carrot. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, the the, uh, the shipwrights stand uh, proud tears streaming from their face but still like just a, they have that whole grizzled tough guy uh, uh, persona going but just like they're crying manly tears the stoic look yeah, of a yeah. man yeah. and then like, everybody else that's below deck is just like eh, is, is it over? <laughs> it's over yes. for Thomas Looks to be. <laughs> All right. Spell slot. Oof. That was that was something. <laughs> All right. Damn. And you guys are approaching the I the rough island that is very has like all these jagged rocks and stuff it, it seems to be a hard to navigate area but mm. thanks with to the help of tilda having taken on the role of navigator anyone who wants to navigate nice. those rocks will can do so with advantage Wait, I thought Tilda was doing that. Uh, that's navigating. That's like not not the person steering the ship. That's not. That's scary. not the one steering the ship. <laughs> oh, I guess I will. All right, just yeah, to Captain. make a survival check. You're good with those. Yep. Normal. Yep. Actually, no advantage because oh. because Tilda. You, that is 18. just enough. Yay. You nice. you navigate the treacherous rocks that seem to form a natural barrier around this va this island. It seems to have just a kind of a, everything's like there's a thin layer of snow on the island. 
and not too, uh, it doesn't seem like it has been inhabited any time recently. Is there any, like, scavengeable, like, plants or anything or anything that uh, there, looks useful? There does seem to be a rather robust forest. What lies beyond the forest, uh, you couldn't say. Mm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to do some scouting and hunting. Sure. Gordy jumps off the ship. Uh, well, not like jump jumps, but like he, he gets off on the land and he's just like practically kissing. He's like, ah. <laughs> not today. Kind of look around. Hey, Gordy, you gotta admit, you did a pretty good job. Uh, you did a beautiful job, Mr. Tonga. I'm sorry I lost my yeah, composure back there. The, rest of us the uh, hey, it's all right. That beast has chased me uh, for quite a, quite some time. So it's destroyed, your fault. Destroyed my last crew. <laughs> I have so, a half a mind to throw you off this awesome. ship right now. <laughs> He, he looks to Akisu, and if you did, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't blame you in one bit. Why is it after you? It. I'm not sure. Still social security. Then. <laughs> My crew and I, we used to be pirates like yourselves. And we came okay. across a treasure. Grand thing. All kinds of... Well, really, you name it. And really, this is all I have left to show for it. And he just kind of reaches under his uh, shirt and pulls out an amulet. Oh. Some kind of intricate carving. Almost re resembling I... a creature of the sea. Yeah, can I can I inspect it? Uh, yeah, make a uh, history check. History check. Eighteen. Mm -hmm. All right. Damn, my kids are acting out today. I'm gonna have to end the session early. But uh, with an eighteen, uh, Tonga, you have seen similar carvings to this before. But, like, uh, after kind of, like, feeling it out in your hand, and, uh, kind of, you, you realize, with a little bit of a sniff, this is, this amulet attracts sea kings. <laughs> well, dumbass, this is why it's after you. Hold on, I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna look at him. I'm gonna look at the amulet. I'm like, hey, Gordy. You, uh. Might want to get rid of that amulet. Here, I can, uh, take it off your hands. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. I'm just gonna gotta. <laughs> yeah, and, and, like, as I said, I'm gonna, like, put a hand on his shoulder. That thing. Praxy kids. Make a persuasion. Can I have advantage? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the Stop. perfect reaction. <laughs> that's so real. <laughs> Gordon's just like, no, I, I, I couldn't. After all that I've sacrificed. But my man. <laughs> I kind of just I kind of stroll up alongside Tonga, place my hand on top of his and roll, go to persuade him as well. And it's like I mean <laughs> Gordy, if you really think about it, sequence. how long have you had this amulet? How far away are they? Can I hear them? We're, we're like just we're like we're probably still on well Gordy jumped off so I imagine we're like right on Can the, I hear this happening? 
<laughs> oh no. My my kids are just uh, really active right now. That's all right. Uh, we're gonna end it right here, and uh, we'll catch up next time. All right. Okay. Okie dokie. Right, but damn, you guys did good. give you time to prep this island, I guess. I guess so. Because now I have to prep an island and determine whether or not there's any devil fruit on it. Maybe, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Nice. Oh, no, this, this what happened to fucking Woodrow? Like, you you fucking guys don't it. know. Alright. Yeah. But. Yeah, we're going to have to make it back to. I, I do have something uh, ready for that. Because as you guys are kind of like settling down it, to kind of like be docked with the island and kind of getting ready to explore things. Uh, Chibi, you notice a news coup kind of uh, flutter down and land uh, at the helm of your, not the helm, of the uh, in, at the front of the ship. Mm -hmm. Which is a, just a little bird and it's got like a little news parcel. Ooh, do we get to know what it says or does that have to be next week? <laughs> um... Well, do Chibi you, do reads you, it. it up do you do you want to know what it says right now? Can I? Can we start off the session with whatever it says? Yes, we we'll end it right there. You should, you should message it. it. The suspense. Yeah. yeah. All right. That that sounds message good. Message it to her, and then she can choose. Ooh, I like that. Because <laughs> because I have a, a few articles for it already. <laughs> nice. It's like oh. Yeah. So she can read that at the start of the session. It'll be good. <laughs> I love it. Gordy, Gordy. Fuck. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> looking forward to next week. Yeah, that was awesome. Thanks. Thanks for joining Hell us, everybody. Yeah. We get a new island. Never good stretch, time. Stretch, stretch. Remember, give a kid your guns. It can only go well. <laughs> it can only go well. The only problem with guns <laughs> is not teaching Rory to use them. He did great. He, he got the he gist did of it. Great. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us on this wild D and D adventure. We hope you had as much fun as we did. And if you're itching for more One Piece D and D or Nerd Militia Chaos, make sure to hit up our YouTube channel for all the latest shenanigans. Stay connected with us on Twitter at the Nerd Militia Zero for all the spicy updates. And if you're feeling generous or just want to keep us caffeinated, swing by our link tree and Patreon. Your support keeps the madness going. Until next time, adventurers, stay nerdy, stay awesome.